Okay. Very, very quick hands. Definitely some of the quickest hands on tour. And he has Mohamed El Shabagi's number. We'll talk about that. We'll talk about his mobile phone. Shabagi has been battling through. Had a couple of movements where it looked like he might have hurt himself. In his encounter previous to this one. Winning the World Championships once, losing out in finals. <laughs> Found that emotional saying that. Nothing to do with the peanut stuck in the back of your throat then. <laughs> it's actually a Brazil nut, which is basically equivalent. If we were to match ourselves in certain ways, PJ, in terms of my size and your size, a Brazil nut would be your peanut. <laughs> Great to be on this comms with you, and it's wonderful because... Half time. PJ. I must feel quite emotional seeing a fellow lefty out there. Yeah, it's always great. I love uh, watching the left-handed players. They just, to me, they just look more stylish. I don't know why. It's the same, though, with most sports, with the kick, you know, footballers, when they go, you know, free kick. Yeah, left miss is not bad. Roberto Carlos had a decent left peg. Just looks good. Yeah. Well, Mohamed El Shabagi, I know, this is staggering. There's not one player he hasn't beaten, yet Ibrahim's the one. 62-minute average match time, and this man is his bogeyman. The last time they played was actually in Chicago, Windy City, last year in March, and it was Yusuf Ibrahim that won in five games against Mohamed El Shabagi. Will we see another scalping? Big, big test for Shabagi. Shabagi would have had a bit more hitting uh, practice playing against the left-hander, being in the England side with Adrian Waller. a bit of a rarity PJ you know there's not many left-handers on the PSA World Tour for some men oh, this is very true very true I'm sure you can compare the game styles of Waller to Ibrahim I think this game will come on very thick very fast so Adrian Waller's got the much more classic technique whereas if you look at Ibrahim he does get his arm on the forehand side especially into some rather bizarre positions but he's uh, extremely hard to read Princeton graduate so he spent a lot of time here in the US of A I just can't wait to see how he, he backs up time. after that extended period of time off the court with the injury he's been in good form so far in this event and El Shabagi made reference to the fact that he hadn't beaten Ibrahim in his post-match interview a couple of days ago, so that will certainly be on the mind of the Englishman. And just to reiterate that fact, as he's about to step on court, the <laughs> MC just uh, repeating the stat there of the three nil head-to-heads. However, the last time they played, Gregory Gautier wasn't actually doing any work with Mohamed El Shabagi, so could that potentially change things up here? Play will start in 30 seconds. Time will tell. Pinjay. Play will start in 15 seconds. I can guarantee you this, Yusuf Ibrahim will be well aware of a couple of the movements. 20, 22, 23 and El into the front two quarters and he will look to challenge that very early on. Someone else that moves very well into the front of the court. Central referee, Ralph Harenberg. He spent a lot of time in Essex, he's got his top button done up. Similar hairstyle to yours now, Joey. You think so? Yeah. Love all. He's just got a little bit more grease in his.
Yes, lad. Oh, that's a stroke. That is a stroke. Love off. Interesting to see El Shabagi's approach to this match this afternoon. He'll be the student of the game that he is. He'll look. He would have looked back at the three previous meetings just to look for any chinks in the armour of Ibrahim. And I'm wondering what aspect or what area of the court he will look to expose from his opponent. Start from Mohammed. Three love. Abraham was out for a long period of time with a issues so he's coming back into the fray combination of the Gaultier left place Gaultier input Hold up. with Ibrahim not being quite where he would want to yet physically it's going to stack in Shabagi's favour he's certainly made a good start as you say PJ it's more like it there we go that's the quirk and now, just one at Ibrahim's four. knees. Has he got like funny little patella tendon tapes on his knees? He's got something on his something, knees. Yeah, something. Um, Isn't he? Huh? It's quality, that is. I mean, this is the danger of Two, Ibrahim. Four. Well, they're, they're, it's like, unless it's just taping. It only really looks like it's on the front of the leg. It's both. It's both knees, mate. Finish. Goodness gracious me, that is a nice finish. Hand out. Five, two. Very good start for El Shabag. He's just containing El Brim at the two. moment. David Campion there in the rather bright red shirt. It's very similar to his tracksuit. I think good colour for him. Very yeah, pretty so He doesn't have any option or any alternative. It brings out brings out the colour in his complexion, I feel. Seen you ever wear red? You probably won't either. Shame because you would look stunning in a red silk dress. <laughs> the fist pump from El Shabagi. He has been absolutely immaculate Seven, with his hitting. Two. Look at the length and line on that. Yeah, this is the start that he would want coming up against. His bogeyman. So 
very different movement day here from El Shibagi from what we saw in his second round matchup. Bad shot in this game Eight yet. Two. No shibagi. Just pressurising Ibrahim with the length, taking the pace off the ball to the back of the court. And when he gets the opening and the opportunities, accuracies into the both corners in the front half of the court have been straight out of the top draw. Hand out. Three, eight. Let's see if Ibrahim's brother there in the stripy shirt next to Darwish and Abdelaziz. Based here in the US, down in the Spectre Center in Philadelphia. Where we'll be for the US Open later this year. And that's an unbelievable finish there. That was uh, Duble. And out. Five, nine. And this is what I just enjoy so much about Ibrahim. He's got this Looks ability. Fine for me. Can see a bit of a agree, dispute Mr. here first. Court service, please. Point. When he does take the ball in short and go for winners, Ibrahim, it, they're just such outrageous winners that players and, and opponents don't even get remotely please close to. First, Suzuki can thing. do it on occasion. A hard low kill or a stun or a drop. Yeah. And Mazen Hisham. He also has a very similar trait, but Ibrahim does it as well, and it's just so good to watch it's wicked to watch and you know I just hope that there's a, a, a bit more foundation to his game foundation to his body actually PJ because he puts so much stress through those legs with the way he moves Yeah, he's very very left leg dominant as you know as a, a fellow left hander and when he does lunge in he goes in still with the back leg the foot's turned horizontal like a kind of fencer and it puts an awful amount of stress through the Six. Adductor Nine. areas That's and a good the point. knees in, in, and the hips and the ankles. <laughs> For anybody watching, there, that's the on the, TV. I was just there. about to say, Wrong just cue. see and if now. you can find Ten, a situation six, where it actually it here. goes we'll in there. on the right leg. Every single, it's like literally 99% of the time when he goes and steps into the ball, it's off of the left leg. Who is it? Here's a quiz question for you, which we'll right talk there. about. We'll talk <laughs> about in point. between games, actually. Joke. It's moving really well, Shibagi. He needs to, but that was... Is it a bit too much, though? He's got a three-point lead, Shibagi. Hand out. He's liable to go for something himself. 7-10. Game ball. If he doesn't get into this first game and 
Oh, oh. There we go. There's the gift. Shabagi clenches seven. his fist. He Game says yes. Shibagi. Shibagi as the ball hits the tin. One game to love. And he takes the crucial first game. Much needed for Shabagi. Well, just a few highlights from that first game. And the Shabagi got off to a very good start. Set that stall out. I mean, this is where the experience from the Englishman really does come into his own. Starving Ibrahim of that mid-court area. It's where he's so dangerous, the lefty. His finishing products into the front two corners at times, just breathtaking. But he was starved of any kind of freedom. There's the error and there's the response. He knew how important that first game was. Good start from the Shibagi. Gautier looking as shady as ever. Yeah, he's made an effort today, though, on his attire. He looks like a racing car driver. He's got more sponsors Play now than he did when he was playing. 60 seconds. Simon Rosner, right-handed German tree chopper, was also a player that would play off his dominant leg non-stop yeah. pounding I mean he was obviously a lot bigger frame play will resume in 30 seconds do you think they both go to the same barbers these two <laughs> speaking of uh, public demand 15 it's about seconds. time you've got your hair cut for charity it's got to go the barnet's got to go We should put it out there. Seriously. Well, I mean, it's getting shorter. Shabagi leads one game to love. <laughs> Sorry. Excuse? I'm sure he's just called him Shabugi. Well, Ralph, I mean, if you're saying that my hair looks like Ralph Harrenberg's, then I'm, I'm liable to get a skinhead. <laughs> See what Ibrahim can do. He's got to cut the willy-nilly stuff out, and he's going to have to bring... A superb game if he's going to make inroads. He's up in the tempo here, PJ. But he needs to do something, doesn't he? Because that, that tempo is a little bit too comfortable in that first game. It's better. It's better from the gunslinger. Hand out, one left. Did you... Being a left-hander, when you did come up against a fellow left-hander, did you find it awkward or did you quite enjoy playing somebody of your um, handedness? I enjoyed it. I mean, I can't, obviously, Pete Nicko had a decent record against Adrian Grant, had a decent record against. Well, that's because you were about quite a lot older than He was only four when I played him, <laughs> that's beside the point. <laughs> right. Um, who else was there that was lefty? Rafi Kandra, he would have not been born, but you would have yeah, beaten him. alive when I was playing. Chris Walker actually also had a very good record against. He used Did to you? love going to... Really? So you... Oh, my <laughs> goodness gracious me, that is an absolute oh. joke. Top spinning. The top spin winner, the crowd are really revved up. Check this out. Two left. Thanks for coming, Beast of Bristol. Well, cancel uh, all... The rest of the applicants for shot of the month because uh, it looks no further. Yeah, it's been done and dusted there. That was a scandal. It's great this is all going out on different social media platforms, YouTube, TikTok, Facebook, Twitter, Knock Knock and Bang Bang. Three love. Oh, oh my that word! That is very. <laughs> I want to see this again. This is. Uh, he Three nearly left. held it so far. He was. Oh. To be fair, that's a stroke. <laughs> it was actually. 
surprised he didn't review it. In all honesty, that for me is an aspect of the game that Roche Baggy has changed for the better. He doesn't get involved as much, no. Well, he had so many head offs. No, hardly, hardly ever. He had a lot of head offs, you know, particularly against the likes of Ali Farag, where he was dominating. I'll never forget the World Championship. It was at the University Club two years ago, and he was out playing Farag, and suddenly. That flipped. was a minimal interference, no less. Court service, please. Just touching on that point about uh, El Shibagi and how he's tidied up that side of his game. He, when he won the Black Ball Open last year, I think in December. No, it was, it was a few weeks ago. Sorry, it's a few weeks ago. No, no, it was, no, no, no. It was a few Thank weeks you. ago. Yeah, it was. This, the, this was the end of 20, the final. No, no, it wasn't that event. It was. Anyway, he only asked in the entire tournament for 24 Please. decisions. I know, I was there. Hand out, 1-3. And then you should have known the dates. Dude, you just put another tournament in in December. They did happen in December, but just not last year. Anyway, it's a good point, and what you're trying to say is completely correct. It's the free-flowing side of his game is... Uh, Is trademark beautiful trademark from Shibagi there softening the hands it's a really hard shot to play ironically again the first person that really played well Jonathan Power played that shot but Kareem Darwish who's on the front row he's in the corner of Yusuf Ibrahim he made that his own as well he must have played Darwish never did but I did never played Darwish good times the Dark Prince as he was known be two love up and ten love up and still take a stroke. The big test mentally for Ibrahim because Shibagi's moving Down. really, really well. Those, there was a few winces and signs a couple of days ago when he played here. Hand out. And that's all out the window. And he drew just pouting. Four, two. Well, the offers are just coming flooding in, Joey. We've got uh, Mr. Glenn Richmond here has already offered £100 to see Joey with a skinhead. Well, <laughs> can he wire Guess that to that. you? Because I owe you that. <laughs> Four. <laughs> Yeah, we need to do this in um, in public. I did actually raise a fair amount of money shaving off my ridiculous beard. beard. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Well, I didn't. Lee Beach will do. There is a terrific did, barber shop at the hotel, actually. No, I'm not going. going there. I'm not having my hair cut yet. I'm, okay. It's a lot shorter than it was. Four, two. Okay, like Ralph. I like it swept over. Can he... Take this second game. He needs stages. to. I think he's, he needs to. El Shibagi's too, too caught, but, uh, caught, caught smart. And he won't allow Ibrahim back in if he gets that, that two love lead. Oh, this is a joke. What's he up to? Oh, he's at the team. It's such an anti-climax, isn't it? Yeah, it was a bit complicated, wasn't it? Over-complicating things a touch. It's got to get that basic foundation Hello. right, Ibrahim, and that will give Three, you more opportunities four. for this flicky stuff. Joshua Baggy seems to have weathered this early storm. 
from Ibrahim. That's a joke, that is ridiculous. Oh. This, is, this is two rallies in a row where he's been outplaying Mohamed El Shabagi with Four. stupendous stuff. And when it comes to the actual money shot, the basic, he's popped it in the tin. Shabagi's in at four all, so that early lead has been extinguished. Now, yeah. three now. Yeah, but from a very easy position. Yeah, this basic, is not good. Three basic drops, really. Five, four. My decision, I called directly. There was nothing wrong with that at all. That was just so quick, Ralph didn't see it. Mr. Ibrahim, at first, can we have a normal conversation, please? Don't shout to me. No, we can't. You know, it's just for pickups. My decision was down. There's nothing wrong with that at all. Please play on. 6-4. Fired up here, and he needs to. He's lost, court his, service, lost his way, he's lost his focus. No, we need a court service. No, we need a court service. Please, please do it. And Mr. Ibrahim, after that game, please change your shirt. Use a problem. You're completely wet. <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's just priceless, isn't it? Oh, it's just Ibrahim is the problem. He is completely wet. <laughs> well, he... I don't want to sound... If he keeps hitting the tin at the bottom like he is, he is playing wetly. Thank you. He's got to lock it down here and, and Hand out. stop. You Five, know, it's great six. when it gets exciting, but not when it ends up uh, in the bottom of the tin. He needs to show a bit of maturity here. And down. There, right on cue. This is... Christmas Hello. come early for the Beast of Bristol. Seven, five. It's a good squeeze. It's the basic stuff that he's got to start to improve Hello. upon here, Ibrahim. Six, seven. Back to level terms here. Seven all. Down. Hand out. Eight seven. Can I get the towel? Yes. Yeah. But quickly, please. Yeah, I mean, this is this is the match in the balance for me. Back end of the second, he's hit five unforced errors in this latter phase, which is ridiculous. Out. And this has been. Uh, Squeeze that of court. Shabagi's looking Nine, for that too lovely. Seven. And if he hits this second, I mean, you can't say Mohamed El Shabagi. You'd be, you'd be pretty silly to bet against him from a two love up position, PJ. I just think he's, uh, he's far too smart, El Shabagi, far too experienced. Well, he's been helped though, isn't he? So oh, absolutely. This has been the demise of Ibrahim, really. He's allowed this. I mean, it, he can make players look so ordinary at times. I mean, there's, there's no foundation, there's no eight, basic game nine. which he can build on. It's just an all out attack and moments of absolute brilliance that nobody else can do. 
yet he struggles to do the simple things. rather pensive that backhand drop just clips the middle of the tin and I know again Ibrahim back on equal terms can he keep the ball out of the tin I'm not sure about the ball we play a lot. I'm not sure. Left box, 9 all. See this again. The kill from Ibrahim. Look down. Look down that one. Yeah, that did look dodgy. Very dodgy. The you know, noise was there, but also deviation. Movement, movement, yeah. No, the, look, he's talking about the movement. Video look, referee, yeah, it's worth having a look, look at this, PJ. On, we uh, know we're going on about the movement with uh, Mustafa Salah making. Let's have a look at this movement from Mohamed El Shabagi. He's definitely guarded his ball, and it's about the left leg. Watch the movement here as he shields his ball. It's a dreadful shot from Ibrahim. Watch this on the right leg, should I say, there. Oh. It's done nothing there at all, Joey, for me. No, I mean, you've it's not done anything. Ibrahim's just taken the wrong line. There's no, no extra movement there for me. Has he left the back leg a little bit? <laughs> no, I think, no, no, I think we're looking I mean, at something. It's an awful that shot there. from Ibrahim. No left. Hand out. 10 9, game ball. That's the reaction. It's like he's won the World Championships there, Mohamed El Shabagi. That's what it means when he's playing someone he hasn't beaten on the PSA World Tour. And he's one step closer now. 30 minutes, two love lead. Ibrahim has got to be furious with himself because he came in with a silver platter of gifts for Mohamed El Shabagi in the form of ridiculous tins. And he's uh, paid the price. He's paid the price. He's two love down. And Mohamed El Shabagi will look to shut up shop. It's very well, clever from Elshie Baggy. Well, he tucked himself up nicely there. He made sure that that shot was going to count. And look at the reaction. I mean, you look at the two body languages. I mean, it says so much. He hasn't beaten Ibrahim on the World Tour before. And he knows just how important that was to get that second game under his belt. He's been very astute today, tactically. Mohamed El Shabagi has kept the game pretty closed. He's not opened it up too much and allowed Ibrahim to create the two kind of uh, attacking into the front of the court. It's not allowed him to use any of his flair that we know he has in abundance. Too many unforced errors from this young man. It's the basic game that's letting him down. Play. 
play will resume in 30 seconds. Need some more work to the back of the court. Get El Shibagi deeper into the extremes before he takes that ball in. And when he does, he's got, just got to simplify a touch. It's, it's a little bit too seconds. exaggerated and over the top. Time. El Chibugi leads two games to love. Level. Please play on. So Shibagi gets the third game underway with a two love lead brink of Down. finally getting a victory over Yusuf Ibrahim. One love. It was a quick start from Ibrahim in the second. He went three love up before found the Tim with way too much regularity. Clever. Very well played from El Shibagi. He's not panicking. Hand out. Another error from Ibrahim. Two one. It's far too many at his level. Good touch. He can use uh, his position to play the shot. No let. Player review. I don't think he's going to have any joy he here either. No let decision. You know, Shibagi plays a decent shot into the front left hand corner. Oh, has a bit of a movement there though, Joey. This is a little bit more can see how he actually shapes his body to the left-hand side of the court. Watch this. Plays the shot. The, the momentum's coming out of the ball, but he actually moves further to the left. You see the shift across yeah, there. I mean, it was through a... the middle. Yes, left. Decision overruled. Ibrahim has four reviews remaining. 2-1. Right box fit, please. Oh, he's got the old leisure centre post. He's done him. Three Completely flat-footed there, Ibrahim. Yeah, it's an iconic shot. Battle from the uh, leisure centres of the UK. Out two three. Three, 
the length has done the damage for Ibrahim. Really not that complicated. Mr. Shubaki, you're moving a bit in the line of your opponent. I can't do anything here. Okay. I can't do anything here. Yes, let. Player review. El Shubaki on the yes, let decision. Yeah, there's a bit of a, again, it's a, he has moved into the line on that. that point with a shot again it's a bad shot from Ibrahim, yes left though. decision upheld and Shubagi has three reviews remaining three all left box That's clever this is the time where El Shubagi is going to get back to that good length with hitting now or never for Ibrahim. He's got to start to make a move. That's a clever lift. Stayed in. It's a very clever lift from Ibrahim. No, no. Good. Hand out. For all. Shabagi down the middle of the court. Even the hands of Ibrahim. Unable to get that back in play. Five four. That shot from Ibrahim wasn't Five accurate at all. It was in the middle of the court. See that Ibrahim certainly feeling it a bit there, but Shibagi possibly slowed down slightly. He always rev himself up with the adrenaline. He's done that there, and he's going to go on the hunt. He knows this is do or die now, Shibagi. He won't want this going and into a, a fourth game. Six, and the push will be five. massive. Can he keep the ball out of the tin, Ibrahim? He's not been able to do that so far. Down. Neither is El Shibagi. Yeah, look where it was again, though. Errors. Yeah, it's I mean, he's not Six. played well, Ibrahim. Has not played well at all. You know, he's, he's hit cross court. Very loose. He's fed Shibagi on that one. Very, very lucky. Six all. Moment. 
tight drop initially from El Shibagi, cross court through the middle again, Shibagi hunting. Seven, six. Yeah, he couldn't have taken that any earlier, he knew it was coming, Shibagi, right out in front. quality to the back of the court PJ and out. It just went in so quickly didn't it doesn't mess around in quick chop Seven good head speed all. on that front forehand corner 10 minute duration of the third game locked in at 7 all set himself, the boast was average. Three unforced errors in the last phase. Eight, seven. Well, the mid to last phase of this third game from Shibagi, from him. After all that hard work, he's clipped the top of the tin and it's locked in at you eight all. If you're a betting man, range. PJ, you've got to say that Shibagi will close this out. I mean, he's wry smile from Shibagi knowing that that was a gift running off the back wall. Beautiful, he's got it. Well, that was. We need to take a look at that again, possibly front right hand corner. Video referee, please have a look about the pickup on the front right. Well, if it's side. up, it's up. He knows it's good, Shibagi. He's got his thumbs up, and he knows that if it is, he's won the rally. Here it comes. Yeah, yeah it's way it's up. Miles. Yeah, it's miles, miles up. up. Miles up. Miles up. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, please, uh, can we wipe the phone? It's a bit worrying when we look at this three or four times. This is absolutely miles up. Just need the referee to actually clarify that the pickup was good. Pick up decision, official decision, good. Shabagi 9 8. believe it it was a moment of madness you've got to say that Shibagi saw pink and there out. <laughs> honestly PJ you wouldn't think it from this position he no. couldn't help himself there I mean he really walloped no, he it so, so far up in the court forehand drop his trademark forehand drop would have done the job well if this is not an opportunity for Ibrahim I'm still not 100% convinced he'll and make out. use of it because as you pointed Line out off. he's not played well this match the gunslinger also known as the gunslinger.
That was my dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I've lost count of how many errors Yusuf Ibrahim has made here. Hand out. Doctor's just taking the afternoon off work. Yeah, Top down and watch ball. a little bit of squash. We'll certainly uh, book him in for a, a medical for you. Make sure everything's in the right areas. <laughs> Match ball, El Shabagi. Well, he's played very well. He's been gifted probably half of his points by the errors from Ibrahim. But no, he's played been, very, very solidly. Yeah, monumental amount of errors, but Shabagi certainly has been sharp. Switching Ibrahim back cross court onto the backhand side for the lefty. Done him. Yeah, he's got him. No, he's got him. Down. 11 9. Match to El Shabagi. He's obviously games done his work. homework, El Shabagi, as you'd expect. He's got his first win 11, over seven. Yusuf Ibrahim. 11 9. 11 9. Fourth meeting between them. Shabagi getting his first win over the young left hander. 47 minutes, uh, not the highest of quality, a lot of errors from Ibrahim, but Mohamed El Shabagi starting off strongly in that first game and managing to hold him off. He gets the rest day, he's got the three love win, and he's into the quarter finals. Well done, fantastic uh, start, fantastic game. A few errors as well there that, that helped you cement your position in the quarterfinals. Uh, how did you rate that performance? Well, not many. I can say I go on court with have 100% record against me. Uh, he beat me three, we played three times, he beat me three times. Uh, he, honestly, like he's, I just told him after the match, it's an honor for me to be part of his history because I'm going to be gone very soon and he's going to be one of the leading sport, leading player on this sport and he played the sport the right way with respect. He plays fair, hard. I respect that, you know. And, um, and yeah, I mean, uh, he's, he's, uh, he, he's had an injury, you know, dealing with a very serious injury in his knee. Uh, to be able to come back the way he's playing today, he's, he's, he's been playing better every, every, every tournament. I don't think he's back at his best yet. Definitely, he definitely can play better. I know that he, he has so much to give still to the sport and uh, he will be one day when I'm going to be sitting on my couch and sitting with, with you guys, I'll be just enjoying, I'll be enjoying watching him because I'm not enjoying being on court with him. <laughs> <laughs> not too soon, I hope, not too soon. How's your own movement feeling? It looked, it looked very steady, you look very secure, you look more comfortable I think from the other night when we saw you play. Well, uh, to be honest, uh, yesterday I uh, told David and uh, Kems, I told Kems, uh, I told Kems and uh, Greg, uh, I need you guys to watch this match and this match. Uh, we need to do our work because I have not had any success with him. We, since we woke up this morning, we had a serious, serious conversation at breakfast to uh, study him, to do, to, to do exactly what we need to do. Um, and uh, after we had the conversation, I was sitting there and then uh, my, my, the English squash physiotherapist, and she's our psychologist too at the same time, you know, even though <laughs> I, I was sitting with her, I told her, I'm so nervous. Um, I needed to speak. Um, and sometimes when you're vulnerable, you need to show your vulnerability to the people that you're close to. Um, there, it was gonna be do no good to me that if I kept it to myself and went on court and I didn't know how to deal with it. So I spoke to her, we got it out, out of me, and uh, we had this performance, and I'm really proud of that. Thank you. So thanks to my team. Thanks for that. It was a fantastic performance, and we're going to see you in the quarterfinals. Ladies and gentlemen, Mohamed El Shabagi. Sorry, guys. Uh, I'll, I'll keep you guys for another 10 seconds. I just want to say, thank you guys for coming to watch us. You know, every year we come back to Chicago. I've, I've, my, my first time here was 2009. I've been coming back here every year since then. And uh, you, guys, um, you guys have been uh, always... Um, um, amazing to all of us. Thank you guys always for having us each year. Thanks to the members of the University Club for uh, being so kind to us every year as well. And uh, it's always a joy to play in front of you guys. So thank you guys. Thank you. Well said. Here. Well, that was a uh, trip down memory lane, really, for Mohamed El Shabagi. Yusuf Ibrahim had the three love lead in the head to heads. And obviously, a problem player for. 
I mean, El Shabagi, but the consummate professional. He's gone away, he's done his homework, he's got a great team around him. And each one of them's played their part in this performance here this afternoon. He'll be confident coming off the back of a three love win here. It's looking good going into the latter stages of this down. World Championships in Chicago. 11 9. Metro Two matches Kabani. down three in this eight match day. The bottom half of the draw, second part 11, of round three. 11, Third match coming up in just over 10 minutes. It's Sarah Jane Perry playing Norel Shabini for the third time in the last three tournaments. They'll be up and the Warrior Princess in tremendous form.